Hello and welcome to how to book Evolve exams for endpoint assessments. All Evolve exam bookings are placed through Walls Garden at www.walls-garden.com. From here you will need to log into your account. Before you can book any Evolve exams, you need to make sure that your learners have got a valid registration. This caps and candidate results section of Walls Garden. Once you are in candidate results, you will need to enter the candidate details. If you have the enrolment number, you can search by just using the enrolment number. If you do not know the learner's enrolment number, you can use their surname, date of birth and gender. Select a value and press search. Once you have pressed search, you will be greeted with the learner's record. To view the full record, you need to select the red box. From here, you can view all valid registrations is in the future. Once you can confirm the candidate has got a valid registration, you can move on to book their Evolve test. Evolve, you will need to check the qualification page within the catalogue. In the main catalogue page, you can enter the qualification code. If you do not know the qualification code, you can search it from the list below. Once you have found this will take you through to the qualification page. To view the units on Bination drop down or the units and assessment drop down. Within the units and assessment drop down, you can view the entry type will need to are not online as unit code that would need to be booked is the 9043301. Once you have found the qualification unit number that you need to book for your online test, you will need to go back to Once you are in the Evolve Scheduling section, you need to make sure that you are booking the assessment for the right centre number and within the correct organisation. If you have multiple sites at your centre, you can select the centre and select the relevant centre number from the drop down. If you are both a City and Guilds and an ILM centre, you can select City and Guilds or ILM from the drop down. Once you have selected the correct centre and the correct organisation, you will need to start doing it down. If, if you have attached your learners as a cohort of learners, you can select cohort. If you have one learner and you won't know their enrolment number, you can use single enrolment number. If you have a group of learners and you won't know their enrolment numbers, you can select multiple enrolment number. If a learner is registered with another centre and you need to transfer them over to your centre, you can select Other Centre. To use this option, you will need to have their enrolment number, their first name, surname, date of birth and gender. If you registered your candidates and added a unique learner number to their candidate record, you can use Unique Learner Number. For this video, we are going to use the single enrolment number. You will then need to input the enrolment number and press search. You are then given the candidate's record. If this is the correct learner, you can press continue. If you have selected cohort and you have got a list of learners, however, some of your learners are not going to be sitting, you can press the remove button and update order. This will remove those learners from the order. Once you are happy you have got the correct learners for your order, you can press continue. You will then be given a pop-up which is helpful tips for your booking. It advises you to make sure that you are aware of the correct installation ID that you will be using. 
For this, you need to make sure that the invigilators at your centre have got access to this in installation ID on Secure Assess and Secure Client. You can overlap tests for learners as long as there is a 30 minute gap between the start times. And here it explains that an exam window can be sat any time from 10 days prior to the scheduled date entered in Walled Garden and up to 30 days after. This is not correct for endpoint assessment exams. For endpoint assessments, exams will only appear from the date the exam is booked for and for 30 days after. Exams will not be available 10 days prior to the booking date. You are then ready to place your order. You will need to place the, select the qualification from the drop down box. If the qualification is not showing here, you'll need to go back and check you have got a valid registration for that learner. If you have got a valid registration and it is still not shown from the drop down, you will need to contact customer services for support. Once you have selected the qualification, you then need to select the unit and assessment. If the unit and assessment you are not you are wanting to book is not showing from the drop down, you will need to check that you have selected the correct unit. If the correct unit it's still not showing, you will need to contact customer services for support. Once you have selected the qualification and the unit, you need to select a date. For endpoint assessments, this has to be five days in advance. If you book within the five days, you will be greeted with an error code advising you you cannot use that date. Once you have selected a date five calendar days ahead, you then need to select the time. And you will then need to select the installation ID for your centre. If no installation ID is showing, it may be that your centre does not have a valid Evolve account. It may be that the installation ID that you are choosing is it linked to another centre or it could be that there is an error in the system that is not allowing the installation ID to be used. To resolve this you will need to contact customer services. Customer services can be contacted on 0844 543 000 and please quote your centre number. Once you have selected the qualification, the unit, the correct date, the time and the installation ID, you can add in any additional details. If you are using an alternative exam location, you will need to enter this in the Enter Alternate Location section. If you have been granted additional time or any other access arrangements, you will need to include those within the additional time and the reason. You will not be able to book any additional time greater than 25%. To do this, you will need to contact customer services or our policy team. Further information on access arrangements can be viewed on www.cityandguilds.com and within our Access Arrangements and Reasonable Adjustments section. Once you have selected all of the relevant information, you can press Continue. From here, you will need to enter your purchase order number or reference. If your centre does not use purchase order numbers, you will still need to input a reference. Once you are happy with all of the information and you are OK that you have booked the correct learner on the correct qualification with the correct assessment for the relevant date, you can press continue. If you would like to change or amend the details, you can press. If you wish to confirm the details, you need to select the detail. This will give you a drop down with the date and the time of the assessment, plus the installation ID you have used. It will also include any additional time 
uh, and the reasons and if you have selected the alternate location. Once you are happy, you can press continue. You will then be given a pop-up asking if you are happy to place the order. If your order is correct, you can press OK. Once your order has been processed successfully, you will be given an order number. If you would like this to be emailed through to you, you will need to press print page and print it. An automatic confirmation is not sent via email. If you need to check that the order, you would again go to reports, candidate results, and check on the candidate history. Order, the order is booked. The fact the assessment type with the multiple choice online exam. Please note these assessments may not be multiple choice. You will then have the date and the time of the booking, the sales order number, and the purchase, purchase order reference number you have inputted. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact customer services on 0844 or you can email us on centre support at cityandguild.com. Customer services is open from 8 till 6 Monday to Friday. Thank you.